Coffee Break German, Season 3, Episode 39. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu Coffee Break German. Ich bin Marc. Hallo, ich heiße Thomas und auch von mir ganz herzlich willkommen. Wie geht's dir, Thomas? Sehr gut eigentlich, sehr gut, ja. Ein kleines bisschen müde, aber gut. Wie geht's dir? Ja, es geht mir sehr gut, danke. I am quite excited to be at the penultimate chapter of our story. Chapter 39, well, chapter 9 in episode 39 of our story about Lucy and Marianne. And we're actually still to find out what Marian is actually up to and what decision he made. Because so far we only know he submitted something, but we don't know what he submitted. That's right. So with the decisive click of the mouse at the beginning of last episode, he sent the application, although we didn't actually know it was an application until the last moment. Okay, now, and he's keeping everything to himself for now. Okay, I think it's time to move ahead and listen to our chapter nine of the story. Klingt gut. Noch im Halbschlaf dreht sich Marian müde im Bett um. Die Uhr auf seinem Nachttisch zeigt ihm schon kurz vor zehn an, aber er faulenzt in letzter Zeit einfach zu gerne. Das Gefühl, an einem Mittwochmorgen ausschlafen zu können, ist unschlagbar. Gähnend greift er zu seinem Handy, das neben der Uhr auf dem Nachttisch liegt, und geht durch seine Benachrichtigungen. Erst nachdem er alle Nachrichten gelesen und mehreren Freunden geantwortet hat, geht er durch seine E-Mails und wird plötzlich, innerhalb des Bruchteils einer Sekunde, hellwach. Derselbe kalte Schauer wie vor zwei Wochen läuft ihm den Rücken hinunter. Die Sorge vor einer zweiten Enttäuschung trägt er schon seit Tagen in sich. Aber sie erreicht erst jetzt ihren Höhepunkt. Doch dieses Mal schaut niemand gebannt zu ihm und wartet auf eine Antwort. Natürlich haben ihn seine Eltern nie unter Druck gesetzt. Er neigt aber dazu, es selbst zu tun. Deswegen hat er auch niemandem explizit von der Bewerbung in Berlin erzählt. Er liegt nun also ganz allein im Bett und die E-Mail der Freien Universität Berlin geht diesen Moment nur ihn etwas an. Zehn Minuten später begibt sich Marian in aller Gelassenheit in die Küche und macht sich sein Frühstück. Die Eltern sind bei der Arbeit. Lucy scheint auch außer Haus zu sein. Doch er ist in keiner Eile. Er kann ihnen die guten Nachrichten auch beim Abendessen erzählen. Bis dahin macht er sich einen schönen Tag, geht joggen, trifft sich mit Tristan und schaut schon mal nach Wohnheimen und WGs in Berlin. Ich kann es kaum glauben. Wir, wir wissen es immer noch nicht. Ja, nicht ganz genau, aber wir wissen am Schluss, dass er gute Neuigkeiten hat. Ja. Und wir wissen, dass er eine E-Mail der Freien Universität Berlin bekommen hat. So. And he's going to be looking for some apartments. So genau, if you read between the lines, wenn wir zwischen den Zeilen lesen. Okay, <lacht> so zwischen den Zeilen. Genau. Okay, nice. Let's go back and talk about what has happened in here, because we do have some information. We've not got exactly the details, but we do know some things. I think at the start, Marian is just very, very much enjoying having no exams and actually having nothing to do at all. So he's still lying in bed. I know, he's still lying in bed at 10 a.m. I think he's just woken up. Yes, and even though I think he's he's woken up, he, he decides to stay a little bit longer and the kind of dozing and take his phone, reply to some messages. Yeah. What does Bruchteil einer Sekunde mean? We've seen similar things before. We see like von einer Sekunde auf die andere in the previous one. It all means kind of like in an instant, like in the blink of eye, in the fraction of a second. And what that Bruchteil here means a fraction. So it's like literally in a fraction of a second. And then he's hellwach. Yeah, he's wide awake. Exactly. Have you come across other? Because I think it's a real jewel of the German language combining two adjectives to like emphasize another one. Uh -huh. So hell is like or like light. Light, yeah. And then wach so light awake. 
and it just means very a week. Very a week. Do you do you know any others? I probably do, but I couldn't quote them to you now. I think probably I've come across them and understood them, but maybe. Definitely. They're quite common. So, for example, gift green is like poisonous green, but just means very green. Right. Or you, so you can g- combine it with other adjectives like gift, but you can also combine them with nouns. We have house hoch. Yeah. Which is like house high or house tall, just meaning very tall. Very tall. Wow. House hoch. Yeah. So there, there's lots and lots of them and some are combined with nouns, some are combined with verbs and some are with ad- other adjectives. I've got a question. If they're combined with another adjective, would just the second adjective have the agreement part on it? Yes, exactly. It's just and so for a hellwach, you wouldn't say hellen wachen, you just say hellwachen. Hellwachen. Okay. Right. So, um, as you said, he has just received uh, uh, another email um, and this is what has made him wide awake. Yes. I think in the next part, we see he's a little bit worried again. He has the same anticipation. It's him and the email. And he's obviously a bit nervous of like receiving a second kind of refusal and feeling that same disappointment again. Yeah. Do we know, do we find out what the email actually says? No, we don't. But we know that he feels a little bit easier because this time nobody's watching over his shoulder. So it's just him and his phone. He opens the email and then there's like a cut uh-huh. and he's down in the kitchen. Yeah. And he goes into the kitchen. What, what was the phrase? In in aller gelassenheit. Exactly. So he's com- completely composed. He's mm. very calm. So I think the email had good news for him. Yeah. Um, so he he's kind of having some time to himself because the family is out and he, he can tell them about his news later. But for the moment, he's he's just happy to, to be chilling with his hopefully good news. Yeah, I think he's just really enjoying the moment. We see here he makes himself from some breakfast and he's thinking about going for a run and just like having a nice day to himself, maybe meeting Tristan. And then we also get the news at the end, what you already said, maybe look for some student accommodation in Berlin. So I, I'm pretty sure uh, it was a yes in the email. Yeah. So he, we, we we don't have that information exactly. As I said at the beginning, I can't quite believe we've not got the actual information, but we've got a pretty good idea. Yes. And I'm I'm happy for Marian, I have to say. I'm, I'm glad he found an alternative that he seems to be really excited about and he's happy with. He does. Okay. It's time now for the final section of this episode, and that is, of course, our Noch eine Kleinigkeit. Auf jeden Fall. And it's very fitting for Marian this time, because he is über den Berg. So the expression is über den Berg sein. Über den Berg sein. So literally over the mountain, to be over the mountain. To be over the mountain, exactly. But it means to have like the worst part of something behind you. I think maybe in English you say like come out of the storm or of the storm behind you. Yeah, you could say something like that, yeah. So it's quite often used for an illness. If you said like, oh, ich hatte eine schlimme Erkältung, aber jetzt bin ich über den Berg. So I had like a terrible cold, but now I'm kind of, I'm over it. I'm coming out of it. I'm coming out of it. Good. Okay. So he's he's gone through quite a tough period, and but he's now over the mountain. He's he's on the other side of the mountain. Okay, now he has all this disappointment and worry and behind him, and he's now... He's out of it and he's looking forward to like a brighter future. Excellent. Well, uh, episode 39, we're definitely over the mountain of, of this series. We'll be back next time with the episode 40, the final episode. Die letzte Folge. Ich bin gespannt. Ich bin gespannt. <laughs> ich auch. For now, vielen Dank, Thomas. Vielen Dank, Marc. Und vielen Dank an unsere Zuhörer. Of course, if you want to get full access to all of the additional materials for this episode, then you can head to coffeebreakacademy.com and just search for Coffee Break German Season 3 there and you'll find everything you need to know. For now, tschüss. Tschüss. Bis zum nächsten Mal in unserer letzten Episode. You have been listening to a Coffee Break Languages production for the Radio Lingua Network. Copyright 2023, Radio Lingua Limited. Recording copyright 2023, Radio Lingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>